Good morning there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to be doing an oil change on the Kia Sedona minivan. And uh, first thing I've done is I've taken the four bolts out that hold this little engine cover on top of the engine. We're going to lay it out of the way. Bam, we're done with that. We've already taken the oil cap off, of course, and we've already jacked the vehicle up. We've got it uh, safely resting on some jack stands, and we're getting ready to change this oil. Uh, on this engine we have a canister type filter up top. This vehicle called for two different ones for this year making model so we've got two filters here. In just a moment we're going to open this sucker up make sure we got the right one and uh, so let's get started. I'm going to crawl underneath and we're going to okay, drain this oil. Okay we're underneath the uh, vehicle here and trying to hold a flashlight with one hand and break the pan bolt loose so there we go takes a 17 millimeter uh, wrench to remove this plug. So we've got our green drain pan here. Make sure you get it where the oil will go in the pan. And bam, there we go. Okay, so let's let this drain a little bit and we'll go back up top and okay, get friends, that filter. Hey, this is our canister housing right here. Get yourself a 27 millimeter socket and a ratchet and we'll break this sucker loose. And we'll replace this filter. Okay, with it all loosened up, friends, all you have to do is pull your filter out, turn it upside down so you don't leak oil all over the place. And let's take it over here to our little cart here, okay? So we're gonna pour some of this extra oil out. All right, that's good enough there. Let's set this down. Let's take our old filter off, okay? And we'll set it up just like that. Now let's open up I believe it is the smaller of the two filters, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, this seems to be the correct filter right here. Okay, so I'll lay a nice little rag down here. Set our filter right there. Now, inside your packaging, you will have a crush ring, and you crush ring for your drain plug, and most importantly, and there's another o-ring right here a big o-ring that goes here on the end we're going to replace that and we're going to replace this other o-ring that goes right here and we have a new crush washer for our drain plug okay so today we're going to go ahead and change these o-rings right quick on our canister here so let's pull this one off with a screwdriver lay it aside and we'll go ahead and put our new one on and stretch him around here Make sure you get it in the correct grooves. Some cars are a little, you got like a couple grooves down there, but one will possibly be the, the last groove where the threads are, as you see right there. Just make sure you get it in the correct groove or it will leak. And down here on the end, we have a little tiny O-ring or just a little fat O-ring. Let's go ahead and pull him off of there. And we'll put the brand new one on. Go ahead and do that and then take some take your finger down in here inside your oil container and let's lube up all these oil o-rings really good make sure you get them nice and lubricated and inside your filter here make there's a little o-ring there make sure you lube that up really good right there shouldn't be anything yeah there's actually one on the other side too you take some of this oil here lube that up on that side and Let's make sure we got our filter right here. Actually, I don't think it really matters which way this filter turns. No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick this sucker in place. And you'll feel it snap into place nicely, okay? Make sure you have that feel there because if it don't snap in place uh, nicely and you go to screw it on, you can actually crush this filter and that's not a good thing. That can cause some major problems. All right, let's stick this thing back on right quick. All right, so we will stick it down in here. Thread it on by hand. And use our 27 millimeter socket and ratchet. And we will tighten it down.
Tighten that sucker all the way down. And don't go crazy on it. It says right here on the thing, not more than 25 Newton meters. That's not very tight, so that's good enough okay, right Chris, there. Back underneath here, we're going to go ahead and install our drain plug back. Make sure you inspect your crush washer if it needs to be changed. You can uh, put a new one on. So we got it in finger tight, 17 millimeter wrench on here, and just uh, tighten it up. Don't kill it. Just uh, don't want to strip the threads out. Wipe off any excess oil while you're underneath the vehicle here. And okay, you're all now set. that the drain plug is back in and torqued down, we've got our new filter installed. It's time to go ahead and add the motor oil. And we are using a full synthetic Valvoline 5W20 motor oil. So we're going to go ahead and pour all this in now, one quart at a time, and then we'll show you how we Okay, with all the oil installed, we're going to reach in here, we're going to crank the vehicle up. We're going to let it run until our oil pressure light goes out, or if the car has an oil pressure gauge, until it reaches up to the normal pressure reading. And it usually takes 5 or 10 seconds, and we're there now, so we're going to go ahead and switch it off, and then we'll check the oil level. Okay, folks, back underneath the hood here. Uh, definitely after you run it you want to check where your oil filter housing was make sure it's not leaking around the o-ring seal and everything looks good and we're going to go ahead and pull this dipstick out wipe it clean stick it back in and we will pull it out and take a look it looks like we're dead on the money folks so folks that's about all you have to do to do an oil change what we got left to do here we got to take our little engine cover we got to stick it back on put the four bolts in and we'll lower it back down and while you're doing an oil change it's also a great idea to check some of your other fluid levels we will top off our washer fluid here in a minute i think we have some washer fluid around here our coolant level is just a little bit low we're going to bring that back up to the full mark and it looks like our power steering fluid level is a little bit low so we will top it off and bring it back up to the fluid level so folks Thank you for watching the video today. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care.